A sneaky thing called death swooped in that year, ambushing my mostly unremarkable family, freezing us like statues in a strong wind. In most cases, defrosting can take an inordinately long period of time if it happens at all. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that you lovely ladies have read this many times, so why don't we just skip right ahead to the Q&A section? Yes. Is this the spot for the number 24 bus? Uh... code is not cooperating and my belongings seem to have walked themselves to the street. Your mooching days are over, Kyle. I apologized. It was a hideous rug to begin with. <sighs> my mother crocheted that rug. Where am I supposed to finish my book? Right. Tony! It's Kyle! Kyle Livingston. Uh, li listen, I, I need a place to lay my laptop for a few nights and I was wondering if you... I'd absolutely do this for you. Are you kidding? Tony? Tony? Gabe, hi. I was wondering if I might be able to couch crash. Your grandmother came on to me. It's not my fault that she finds me very attractive. So can I stay? Pete! Amanda! Mr. Dowling! Why? Go home. Why didn't I think of that? Call me Ishmael. Call me Kyle? It was the best of times. It was the worst of... Dude, you can't plant your ass on the floor like that. Yeah, well, this is where my mailbox is. You're basically standing in my living room right now. I'm happy, man. I'm... Just first sentence. First sentence. Marshall. No, I'm not dead, but that's hilarious, by the way. Uh, listen, I'm uh, coming home to uh, finish another book. <clears throat> I only have 10 more days, so I really need my room. Uh, tell Dad to holster his shotgun. <laughs> no, I know he doesn't actually own a gun. It's a metaphorical gun. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Okay, bye.
child, baby. I've been waiting to meet you for years. Come over here. I'm Gloria. I'm your dad's big squeeze. You can touch these puppies. Mm. I just had them done. Are they mm -mm. gorgeous? Wow. Oh, wow. That's um, Gloria. <laughs> yeah. He's my... It's weird. And not in a good way. Go on, go to work. All right. I'm off to work. You boys, you play nice now. Hey. I see you um, went over to the canine side. Thought you were a cat lover for life. I yeah, can't stand dogs. You gotta walk them. You're giving away free trips to Hawaii if you get enough of these labels. And Gloria got in her mind that we're gonna go there one day. Looks like you've already been with that winning George Hamilton. I'm in this uh, clinical trial for this ED erectile dysfunction drug, and one of the side effects is uh, satan, it's a bonus thing. Yay for the side effects. Marshall, Marshall. <laughs> My room? Technically, it's still your room. Dad expanded it. Oh. It's awesome, right? For Vegas, where is my desk? Where is my chair? I spent thousands of hours molding that chair with my butt. Your stupid chair's downstairs in the den. You sold your desk, though. You better get your uh, chair molded butt downstairs in about an hour. Patsy's making dinner. So, how was everyone's day? Marshall's was super long. I'm the number two telemarketer in the county. Sometimes I gotta work late. Mm, yeah, you're really out there saving lives. You must be exhausted. Do you want to buy a house? Oh. Hmm? You're gonna live here the rest of your life. Oh, God, have mercy. You can stay, though. Thanks, Grandpa. Yeah, thanks, Grandpa.
Are you a hungry man, Kyle? I made you one just in case. Thank you. I'll be having my dinner in my room. Hey, Uncle Kyle. Hey. Mel? I know. If anybody needs to use the bathroom, either hold it in or find a bucket. You can get urinary tract infections doing that? Oh. Well, maybe somebody should have thought about the medical consequences before they turned my bedroom into a filthy bathroom. Do I need to get a signed petition, you know, to upgrade my house? Mm -mm. Things may get worse more slowly. What do you want me to say? Huh? It's our busy season. In March? A lot of people would like to get a jump on the holiday shopping. Uh-huh. Well, they told me that you left early again today. You can't keep calling my work, Pat. Oh. oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you work with the tramp marshal? I work with a lot of tramps. Oh, my God. Diddling them? Jesus. My name is tattooed on your hairy cheek, not some hoe. Who is she, Marshal? <laughs> You think I'm some huge stud? Is that it? Look at me. Look at me. I'm a mutt. Well, you're my mutt. Don't you forget it. Yeah, maybe you just came back to torment me. That is just silly, buddy. Oh, Kyle is so sweet. Why don't you just try talking to him? Would you please leave him out of our sex nest, please? Okay. I just want you to be a happy camper again. Yeah, I will be if you stop your yapping. <laughs> No, that, that, that is not what I meant. You're a sly dog, aren't you? 
You're just like your pop. A bit of a prick most of the time. But ooh, could he give Sting a run for his money in the boudoir? Oh my god! She must have seen me. Are you spying on that person in the bathroom? That's sick. You're a sick peeping Tom, aren't you? No, no, I'm... With a mannequin fetish. Okay, that's weird. But I guess everyone is weird in some way. <laughs> Do you live around here? I, I grew up there. Gloria and Alan? They are whacked, but you don't hold it against them. I live there. It's weird I haven't seen you. I would remember you. You're cute in a boy next door gone wrong kind of way. What's your well, name? Thank you. I'm Kyle. I... I'm Joy. My parents were delusionally happy. It's fab to meet you, Kyle. Here. Give me your knuckles. I call that 69 knuckles. Well, you, uh, you have the silkiest uh, knuckles I've ever... 69. Are you free at four? You can say no. I won't be offended. It takes a lot to do that. No. No, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> that, that would be nice. That sounds nice, yes. You have... A few hours to come up with a more creative word than nice. Or else I will be forced to put you out of your misery. Be my guest. All right. See you at four. Four o'clock. Did someone bite the dust? Uh, no. I, I have a, um... <clears throat> sort of a romantic rendezvous in nine minutes. Lose the tie. Not good enough, Marshall. Oh, oh. Why are you home so early? Did your date cancel? I told you why. Yeah? Well, your jacket smells like lady juice. <sighs> It is perfume we are selling. I could get you a couple bottles if you want. Here it is. Oh! oh, what did you do? I'm sorry. I have a date with the girl across the street. It's seven, seven minutes. The, oh, the weird um, one? The, what's weird about Joy? Oh, so do you also know the names of the crabby old couple next door, Marshall? Yes, I do. Please? I'm very friendly with what all of our neighbors. I'll have Zip, you. Zip, please. Zip it. This was the last decent pair of pants that I had. Give me yours. Give me your pants. But I, I'm at least two sizes bigger than you. Really. Try four. Hmm. Hi, you're impressively on time. Have fun on your sort of romantic rendezvous. <clears throat> uh, oh, just a, a, a little nothing. Oh, thank you. Is this a book? I love books. Ready? So did you think of an alternative word? Uh, it, it, it would be my distinct pleasure to accompany you this afternoon. It's bordering on bland, but marginally better than nice. So I, I wrote the book. Which book? The one being swallowed alive in your back seat right now. What? 
You wrote that? Yes. Oh my god. I hope it's good. I hope you're good with condoms, too. I read this article that STDs are rampant among senior citizens. They're getting it on more than we are. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> I used to work at the condom factory on Johnson Street, and I got tons of free samples, so I figured I would put them to good use. It's really on Johnson Street? So, you're all gonna remember to use these next time you have sex, right? Or you could die. I'm 81 years old, Joy. What's your point? Every second counts, Doris. <laughs> I've brought a friend along today. This is Kyle. And Kyle is going to demonstrate how to put one on. Ooh. Anyone who wants a refresher can stay. <laughs> uh, you should get that looked at. It might be serious. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do this. Open the bag. I don't want to do this. Open the bag. I was petrified you hadn't brought props. I don't mind if you don't use a cucumber. Do you, ladies? Oh, no. no. He's wearing ladies' pants. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> okay. Um, well, just... Caesar. Okay, so, uh... Caesar. Adele. Oh, see? Who's see. Caesar? He's, uh, he's just this cat, local resident. Um, I'll be right back. Uh -huh. Did he pee? Oh, dear. Oh. And, uh, you make sure that the, this part here is up, like a, like a little hat. And then uh, you, you put it there. Careful not to cut it with your nail, but you, you just pinch like this. So to, this is important, that part there. And then you just roll it down to the, um, b the, uh, the the, the base, <laughs> rolled under the, the base. Is, uh, is, that, is everything okay? Yeah, fine. It's no biggie. Do you mind a pit stop on the way home? As long as it doesn't involve vegetables or anything related to latex. I can't guarantee. So, did you come home for inspiration or to show off your mad condom ruling skills? Funny. Um, out of necessity, mostly, but if inspiration wants to smack me in the face, I'd absolutely welcome it. <laughs> I'll smack you in the face. Anything? I sort of unofficially adopted this lonely little stretch of road. Oh. Oh. Aw. Poor little thing. Probably never knew what hit him. It's a mystery. The when, how, and if of it all. I meant more car, bus, moped. <laughs> what would you do if you found out you were gonna die soon? Try not to. Wouldn't it shock you out of your comfort zone and make you feel so alive? I'm just trying to get through the living part right now. I found out recently that 
I'm gonna die soon. Well, shoot that messenger, right? Wait, you're serious. You're dying. Yeah. And you're a writer, um, presumably a good writer, so I was wondering if you would write my obituary? I, I don't want the last thing that people read about me to be some grammatically incorrect piece of crap. I want my obituary to be classy and sassy. I don't even know you. So we'll probably have to spend a lot of time together. All right, you're acting all weird. Um, forget I said anything? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's... That's in the past now. Gone. Zap. Joy, how would I... I can't, I can't. I, I, I can't. Joy... <clears throat> you should get that cough looked at! It could be tuberculosis! It's just a throat-clearing thing. Uncle Kyle? Not now!
Come on, Slowpoke, we'll be late. Uh. I've been going to school for a decade and I have never been late. Bye, Grandpa. Yep. Bye, Alan. <laughs> Look at the girls now. <laughs> I love that on you. I love oh, it. Oh, it's great. Fabulous. Fab. I don't don't touch that. that. Don't want to that is not for you. You're too young That's for that. That's for me. <laughs> Move. Move. What are, you, what are you doing here? This is the anniversary cake you ordered. Let me see. Ribbon. Oh. Oh, no! I ordered a double D. What's wrong with these people? This is no more than a saggy C. That's so you. I'm gonna call them. You totally wear my florals. What's going on here? We are revamping some of my stuff for Mel. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your concern for my daughter's fashion needs, but we can't accept. Take them off. Why? She has plenty of clothes. She doesn't need your cast-off crap. Oh, I, I don't think it... Looks like crap to this untrained male eye. Come back here, young lady. Your, uh, your hair. Oh. It looks really... Do it. Choose your word wisely. Ah, yeah. Not planning on making that mistake again. In, in case you didn't get the message, uh, it, it would be my honor to write your obituary. I accept your non-environmentally friendly apology on one condition. You have to do something else for me right now. You uh, never really told me what it is that you uh, have. I know. So, um, who do you look like? Do you have any siblings? Do you fight like cats and dogs? My brother once broke my nose with an action figure. It was an accident. At least I think it was. <clears throat> that could be any number of lung diseases, you know. Hi, how are you? Kyle, and I'm Kyle. Here, I don't. Bye. No, 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 that's for you. A gift? For me? What is it? I want to make my mark on the world while facing my greatest fear. Huh. What is. Can you put it on, please? Uh, no. Can you please put it on, Kyle? No. Kyle, just put it on! For future gift reference, I'm more of a collared polo kind of guy. It's called coolrophobia. I'm searching to find anything cool about it. It's a fear of clowns. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Boring fart. Come on. 
Stick your hands in. Make your mark on the world. Wait, that's what you meant? Yeah, cast in cement till the end of time. Not particularly pioneering, though, is it? You're right. Oh, what are you doing? Body print. Body print. Uh. How's this for innovative? Yes, your body print is, yes, it's one of a kind. Yeah, clown hand. I woke up and wished that I was dead With an aching in my head I lay motionless in bed I thought of you And where you'd gone Let the world spin by <clears throat> Why does my life seem to be littered with bathtubs? I'm suffocating. Oh. <clears throat> no, no, all right. Work through the fear. Just remember, I'm, I'm a normal guy wearing a scratchy wig and a bulbous red nose. No, you're not. <laughs> you're right. I'm abnormal. I relish those face-eating tumor shows. <laughs> you do? <laughs> Breathe in. And out. Question number four. What is your favorite animal? What? Favorite number, color, food, animal? Well, there's a scientific basis to my mode of questioning. All right. Um, ants eater. I hate ants with a passion. I'm not afraid of them. They just bug me out. It's a little bit closer to heaven up here. This is where I want my ashes sprinkled. To ode to joy. Question number five. Your family. Anything and everything. What about you? What's your story? Are you writing my obit? Are you dying? My mother died three years ago. I've barely spoken to anyone in my family since. Your family is weird. But they are wonderful, and you should be happy that you have them. And you? You were raised by... wolves. No. Aliens? No, nothing that interesting. I killed my parents. It was one of those freak things, you know? My parents were always bugging me not to leave my bike in the driveway because they couldn't get their enormous Buick in. But I was this totally scatterbrained kid, so I always forgot. And then one night, they were coming back from one of their weekly poker games, and my dad got out to move my bike, and their car was partly out on the street. The truck didn't see it. Kyle, you're getting all sad and sentimental. It's fine. It's really fine. And we're having fun, right? Fun. F U N. Thank you. Uh. 
Um, tomorrow I have this doctor's appointment. Would you come with me? Of course. <laughs> do you want do, do you want to um I just don't want this to end yet this day I have cookies I love cookies The anniversary of the first time we ever did it. Mm. I see. How do you remember all of this useless crap? Well, I wanted to go out and celebrate and maybe go to a fancy restaurant or something. Mm -hmm. But I knew the fresh air was going to kill you. Oh, yeah, that's right. I am just afraid of fresh air. <laughs> Well, why don't you educate my gorgeous ass? Huh? Yours are much better. <laughs> um, wait here uh, while I straighten up. Oh. Door, dude, door, door! It is not what it looks like. I, I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gay or anything. It's just, I, I feel this fabric. It is I don't know, no, no! You've got to tell Patsy. <laughs> no way. She already thinks I'm the lord of Loserville as it is. She thinks you're having an affair. Kyle? Hello? It's, uh, it's a little messy in here. I like messy. Right, could you just give me one minute? I have to finish something up. Are you doing a number three? Number three? Oh, no, no. Well, then I'm coming in. Whoa. Yeah, that is messy. I should freaking sell tickets. Seems the men in your family have a special bond with female fashion. No, that was just a one-time emergency. Hmm. I, I, no. Wait, so you're living in here? Yes, my dad converted my bedroom into a bathroom. How mentally ill is that? That's sick, totally. But you're sleeping in here? Well, you get used to the lack of sleep and the constant back pain. Loving the chit chat, guys, really. But can you, we can go outside? I'm all exposed here. Does Patsy know about this hobby? No. Could you two just scram so I could change? So I'm getting an MRI. Maybe you should wait here. It's safer in case you're pregnant. Awful. Thank you. Joy, what is it today? I'm not here to see you, Dr. Khan. Well, I guess that's lucky moi, then. Excuse me. Excuse me. <clears throat> I think that you're... Bedside manner could use a little work. I'd like you to apologize to my friend when she gets back. Yeah, right. Look, 
She has seen every doctor in this hospital over the past several weeks, some of us more than once. Quite frankly, she's driving us all a little nuts. I don't think that's any way to talk Hypos about Hypos on a quest. Biggest time wasters ever. Hypos? Hypochondriacs. Major suicidal tendencies. Very touchy if you even think about questioning them. Sorry, unprofessional. No, wait, wait, wait. So she, she's, she's not dying? No. Nope. Have a nice day. You should just talk to him for a change. Oh, gosh, honey. Don't worry. Don't worry. Everything is fine. Come on. We're going to be late for school. If you didn't yell all the time. I do not yell all the time. I'm sorry. Oh, don't play that teenage cliche with me. It doesn't suit you. Come back. We're going to be late for school. Stop. Just, um, get your, get your beauty rest. Not that, not that you need any. I'll see you tomorrow. She's not here. I searched the whole house, inside and inside. She's not picking up. Oh, my goodness. I'm supposed to be driving her to school right now. Oh, she's going to be late. Oh, really, Marshall? Uh, maybe she walked. No, it is 6.5 miles. Oh, so call the school. I'll let us know no. when she gets there. No, her backpack is upstairs. She's run away. Really what did you say to her last maybe... time you saw her? Oh, and it's me. What did you say? I'm the one that What's going on? Mel's missing. I mean, why would she run away? Why wouldn't she? she? Run away, okay? She probably should just need some space. Did you say something? Some just, just shut it! I just, I just get out of here. Drive around, somebody. Drive? Where are you gonna drive? It's not like she's got a GPS in her. Oh, no, 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 no. She saw you the other night. In the bathroom. Marshall. I'll drive. Uh, maybe Joy knows where she is. I'm gonna go with Kyle, baby. You stay here, hold the fort in case Mel comes back. Hey, 
Beethoven, Ode to Joy. Oh, I'm not as unfreaking cultured as I look. Oh my God. Where are you going? Where are you? Don't talk. Just listen. No. Kyle, baby, no! Until you tell Mom the naked truth, I'm officially on strike. Yeah, uh, you know can do. Let me help you. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. It's not a good time right now. Oh, so you want her to find out through her teenage daughter? No, thank you. You have five minutes. I don't need your help on that. Four and a half. Who was that? Oh, work? So she was dying, and then she wasn't, and now she might be? Joy is going to be fine. Um, can, can we see her? I assume you're Kyle. Yes. I made notes. She was very um, particular about some of the details. She said she took two tiny sleeping pills so she could sleep. We pumped her stomach because you told the whole world she tried to kill herself. Wait, you said that she could be suicidal. Can't quote me on that. Anyway, she never wants to see your annoying face again. It was more about your face and some of the other parts of your anatomy. What room is she in? She made herself quite clear. Don't forget to validate your parking. That is the crappiest delivery of good news that I've ever heard. It's her obituary. I thought you were supposed to be writing that. What does it say? Oh, there's a note. Kyle, I thought you should know I never needed your help writing my obituary. I wanted someone sweet and fun to share, share my, my last life. couple of weeks. I knew if I asked you to write it, you'd have to hang around and get to know me. You were charming and interesting, and then I just couldn't tell you the truth because I didn't want it to end. But it has to end before you get hurt because of me. I have to move forward alone now. I'm sorry I pulled you in, but I'll never be sorry I met you. Take care of yourself. I hope you'll agree. My obit's the classiest, sassiest you've ever read. Get it out to the world for me. Knuckles, Joy. Knuckles? <laughs> What's Knuckles? <laughs> it's not what you think. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. It's you too to call early her. to involve the cops. It is not. No, it right? isn't. You have to wait, like, Give... 24, 48. What? It just hasn't been enough hours. No, I don't care. It's my Pats. daughter. Pats. What? We've been looking. We called your phone a thousand times. Your school? You think you can just cut out whenever you please and wire your parents to their deathbed? You did a mental health day. Can't argue with that. Okay. You hungry? No. I can make you a grilled cheese with the crust. Cut off. How am 
I supposed to tell her? Don't tell her. Show her. Where did you get these? Suit up. No. No. Mom. I'm sorry. I became a moron temporarily. I got your note. Jo I... What is it, Marshall? Could you come to our room for a sec? You got another stupid tattoo. I really don't give a damn what you do. Joke? Oh, yeah. I thought I struck you mute. Please tell me that you are just being super prepared for this year's Halloween. I am not having an affair, Pads. I like trying on lady clothes. It makes me happy. I go to the mall after work and I, I try on lingerie. I just didn't know how to tell you. I'm not having an affair unless it's with the JLo collection at JCPenney. I don't know what to say. No, put your right back on. I'm begging you. Can we have dinner now that this ridiculous charade is over? I'm starving. Touched your food, son. <sighs> he didn't make joy go bye bye, Kyle, baby. No. He just sold all of my stuff and transformed my bedroom into a bathroom. Well, you never came home. Gloria needed a bigger bathroom for all of her crap. I do have a lot of crap. Yeah. <laughs> More Brussels sprouts, anyone? 
Well, I'm not stupid. The only reason you're here now is because you had nowhere else to go. Hmm. And why else would I come home, Dad? I send you my book. No response. Oh. Zilch. You wanted a thank you card. Well, I'm so insensitive. All right, here you go. Thanks for leaving, turning your back, and mailing us your book. <laughs> turning my back. Mm -hmm. I turned my back? You did absolutely nothing to save her. You think you know it all. You come back here, you ignore everyone. You act like a complete jackass. Oh, Skirting God, the truth. Honey, please. Skirting the truth. Hmm? Blatantly obvious to everybody here. You tried, man. You weren't here. Marshall, please. You don't know what you're talking about. He never did anything to get her any, any help. Mom didn't want any help. She didn't want to stop. It's not the point. He, he has been mad at me for years because I wrote the truth. Really? Yes. I never read it. You, what? I never read your goddamn book, okay? You should have got the book on tape like I did. A more glazed carrots, anyone? What are you doing? I'm not gonna waste the damn meat. For the record, I read your book three times. I think mine's done. If you maybe want to read it. No nepotistic sugarcoating, though. OK? I wouldn't dream of it. And sleep. I don't sleep. Before this picture was taken, your mother had this 10 minute hiccuping fit. Couldn't get rid of him. It laps it hard. Oh, I miss her. 
kindness are like Nobody's invented a word yet. I can't leave your mother. years, four months, 16 days, give or take it. <sighs> oh, listen, just so you know, that rap music, I hate the damn stuff. It's the only music your mother wouldn't listen to. <laughs> Gloria doesn't seem to mind it. So. Do you, do you love her? She loves me. Let that girl go. Just do whatever it takes. She, she won't. She won't talk to me. She won't come out of her house. And I don't know what to do. You'll just have to figure it out. You know, I tried everything with your mother. Everything. Come on. Come on, come on. You're gonna love it. Ah. Oh, 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 oh my God, what are, are you okay? Oh. Well, she came out, you were sleeping. We panicked. What are you doing? What are you doing? We got her tied up really yes. nice. And I am untying her. Yeah, but she doesn't have a choice now. She has to listen to what you have to say. Oh, yes, and that all makes sense. Uh -huh. Until you bring in the whole part that it's a crime thing. Uh -huh. Out! I'm sorry, Out. George. That's out. Sorry. All right, leave it. You're making a mistake. Go. I'm not going. making a mistake. Out! Like, rub a bank or something. <laughs> I'm. Oh, God. I am sorry. <gasps> Get me out of this right now. Yes. Yes. Uh. <laughs> You, 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 you wrote the classiest, sassiest obit that I, I, I've ever read, and I don't want it to be published for a long, long time. Well, I don't have long, Kyle. Have you been paying any attention? I know you're not dying. The doctors, they can't find anything physically wrong with you. Mentally, it could be a whole other story at this point. You are crazy. I'm crazy? Yes, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, then please, please, enlighten me. All right, that MRI, it didn't even show a cracked toenail. And that's a bad thing? Yes, because if I'm not dying of a disease, it means that I'm gonna die of something unexpected, something that I don't see coming. But why do you think that you're dying at all? What are you guys doing? Shh. Because he's never wrong. Who is, who is never wrong? Who is never wrong? Who? Caesar, okay. Caesar. 
Caesar the cat? He's psychic. The cat? Yes. A psychic cat told you you were going to die. Yes. Every resident that Caesar pees on dies within a few weeks. Somehow he just knows. Kyle, Caesar peed on me. Maybe he has a bladder condition. <laughs> So I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Listen, I'm, I, can't, I can't believe that you believe this. Give me one reason why I shouldn't. I'm going to bed now. Forever! Joy! 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 Kyle, baby. I once knew this girl who had a psychic twat. Any guy who got close, she knew if he had an STD or not. I think what Gloria is trying to say is that maybe it isn't impossible that this cat has psychic abilities. Exactly. You gotta prove to her she's crazy, man. I mean, no cat pee ever killed anybody. I don't think it's the pee, per se, Marsh. Show her you love her. Shower her with romance. I know some hot strippograms. Throw her a living funeral. I was planning one for your mom, but she passed before we got to do it. No, I want the best chairs you got. What do I sound like a cheap wad? Yeah, well, you sound like a dick wad. Uh, thanks, Gloria. I've been through all of them. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, I like it, but is it big enough? Okay, it's a short speech, not a novel. <sighs> no nepotistic sugar coating. Right. She doesn't love this. She's definitely deranged. the engine running. <laughs> Little bugger's bladder will be so full. He'll be peeing everywhere, on everyone with any luck. She'll see her theory disintegrate into thin air. I'll do my damn just to make sure he pees on me, man. That was one sticky puss, though. Uh, I think he's old. Just drive. Go! <laughs> Milk does a pussy good, right come here. On. Caesar, look, come look. on, here. Right there, right here. Please. Caesar, come on. Come on. Delightfully dapper. A lot of good it's doing, Mayo. Did you go to all this trouble for me? I'll make a deal with you. I'll go if you go. But you're not going? Are you? Would it be easier if you weren't you? Oh, yeah. Can I be Brad Pitt, please? Thank you. Alan. What? Trust me. Don't go anywhere. Ha! But she's not here. It's a poor... Okay, go, 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 go. All right, just... <clears throat> Dude. She's not coming. I'll tape it for her. Come on, go ahead. Uh, 
Um, uh, our, our guest of honor seems to have been delayed. One last thing. All right. Get into character. I can't do this. I, I, I've been um, penning her obituary for the past couple of weeks as part of my new book. But it's, it's become apparent that this ode to my joy has been predetermined to come to life in, in, in this moment. Today we mourn the passing of our beloved Joy Helena Bailey, 29. She will be remembered for her generosity to the homeless, kindness to seniors and dead birds, overcoming her ferocious fear of clowns and leaving her mark on the world in truly innovative ways. She is survived by the boy next door gone wrong who Continue. Um, uh, the, the boy next door gone wrong who... make me feel the most terrifying happiness that I've ever known. And I don't want it to end yet. Kyle, I thought this celebration was your way of saying that you understand and you accept. Yes. Yes. You are dying. So is everyone here. I could die tomorrow before you. You are not going to die because a cat peed on you. Yes, she is. No, sir, she's not. Yes, she is! <clears throat> Finally dragged my ass outside and this is what happens. Outstanding. Alan, I, I'm so sorry. He's, he's fine! He's just a, a cat. This is asinine. You're the asinine. Joy. Marshall. You stop filming. for the Alexis Agency at the beach. 
Hi. Uh, I wanted to let you know that the book is um, not done. Sorry. I um, just couldn't finish it. This story was never meant to be, I guess. But I am going to send you something else by this promising young author I know. It's, uh, well, I think you're going to love it. Invigorating this thing called fresh air. Wanna join us? Uh, rain check. Are you sure this is what he wanted? Not out of nature or in the water? Couldn't we just put him up on the little shelf upstairs like mom? He said, and I quote, when I die, I want you to shake my ashes where you shook my world. He was talking about this floor. I mean, we did it a, a trillion times right here. Those were good times. Oh, gosh. Our baby, enjoy heaven. Just not too much. If you're going to be, no, um, I don't want it to be anything slutty. <gasps> it's so soft.
you pay your dad and me a visit, you hear? I will. Hey, keep it up, kid. You're not half bad. I loved your dad's obit, and I'm so sorry. Uh, you should go by the house sometime and walk on him. I did. That's good. So, uh, are you, um, are you still with us, or am I talking to a ghost? This is the real me, for now. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not thinking about it every millisecond. What are you thinking about instead? What are you doing right now? Um, I happen to know this beautiful place in the trees. That sounds nice. Good, pleasant, swell, peachy, wonderful, incredible, you lovely. From the place where you can be yourself. All the rumors true that they really find you knocking on the door. Did you lock yourself out? Again. Cause even when the wind dies, leaves still fall. Even when the heart sighs, you smile. Still stand tall. Whatever happens, will. Whatever happens, will. Tomorrow's just a ghost that is waiting to be born. Cause even when the wind dies, leaves still fall. Even when the heart sighs, you smile. Still stand tall. Whatever happens, will. Whatever happens, will.
I can't help but wonder just how many tears there can escape. One minute I've locked them up for life, the next they flood the gates. And I blame it on the fishing line that dazzles with the bait of green grasses, redder warnings, darker nights, and brighter days. I'm hooked. Exactly.